Hi fellow morons, this is Marie, and you're watching Japanese for Morons with Gimme a Flake Man. Hey guys, that was The Sweet Delights. As you can tell, her name was Marie. She's new to YouTube, so you guys go over and welcome her. She's just starting her Japanese studies. And um, she made that intro for me, so check her out. Welcome, the new moron, guys. Okay, on to today's lesson. Today's lesson is Tetsuya. Maggie, I'm walking over here. Maggie, be quiet. Be quiet, thank you. Okay, today's lesson is Tetsuya Suru. Tetsuya Suru, and Tetsuya Suru is basically to pull an all-nighter. The first kanji, Tetsu, Tetsu means to go through, go through, and yoru means night. So, tetsuya suru, throughout the night, to go through the night. So, pull an all nighter, right? Uh, let me give you a couple example sentences for this. And recently, you may have noticed though that I have not been posting uh, videos regularly because I have been doing this tetsuya suru thing, right? Uh, now, for those morons who are just starting out, remember, suru basically turns any noun into a verb. Tetsuya is the noun all night and putting sudo at the end means to do all night okay now here's an example sentence saikin wa mai ban tetsuya shiteimasu saikin wa mai ban tetsuya shiteimasu let's break it down saikin is recently mai ban you might you might recognize mai nichi mai nichi means every day and mai ban means every night Saikin wa, recently, mai ban, tetsuya, shiteimasu. Adding shiteimasu or shiteiru to the end of a noun form like this uh, turns it into something equivalent to the English ing. So recently I've been, I've been pulling all-nighters. There's your sentences and my lovely wife is filming right now. So Yoko, just so for those who, who don't like my gaijin accent, could you say, saikin wa mai ban tetsu, tetsuya shiteimasu? Why do you sound like a robot? <laughs> say it like you're like, you're like, ah, it's a die. Yeah. Well, I know, but to say it, uh, pretend you actually do some work at night. Okay, there you go. You get the quick, quick uh, cute girl's um, accent there. The second example is. And you probably recognize the word kino, meaning yesterday. Tetsuyashite, I pulled an all-nighter. And using the te form, it connects to the next verb, which is benkyo. Benkyo shita, or benkyo shimashita, for those of you who prefer the more, uh, more polite form of shimashita. One more time, kino wa. Tetsuya shite, benkyo shimashita, or benkyo shita. Yoko, could you do that last sentence? Kino wa tetsuya shite, benkyo shimashita. Thank you. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And um, be sure to check out Maggie Sensei. We're uploading daily lessons over there, mini, almost daily lessons on the mini lesson uh, section of Maggie Sensei. Go check it out. They're very good lessons, believe me. Thanks a lot. See you guys later.